How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, Phase Crypto, and today, of course, I would like to discuss Cardano. I also am going to use this as sort of a jumping off point to discuss Bitcoin. I think that it's a pretty risky time right now to be shorting Bitcoin. Uh, of course, plenty of the people saw that there was a little bit of writing on the wall previously, back when a couple weeks ago we saw Bitcoin at that 10,000, and of course, for people who weren't willing to listen, uh, I think that it was pretty obvious that we were going to see a, at least a slight correction that came right now. But now um, it's a little bit harder to gauge whether or not we're actually going to see uh, Bitcoin continue to move in uh, you know, upward momentum. And of course, that would be sort of a continuation of a bullish trend in that same context. But at the same time, uh, I think that the possibilities for seeing Bitcoin go to 5k versus 10k are almost 50 50 which is why I see it as sort of a hodl moment as far as I'm concerned of course keeping you updated every step of the way uh, however that's just my perspective as far as it stands uh, at this current time and of course we're seeing some pretty interesting things happening with our favorite altcoin Cardano now of course remember Cardano is not not necessarily my uh, I mean when I want to talk about it I don't call it an altcoin I wouldn't say it's my favorite altcoin because I see Cardano almost in a category all its own and that sort of does separate it in a large sense I see Cardano more in a category where it posits a catalyst for the really significant paradigm shift in the what we term to define the uh, as the you know cryptocurrency space of course first we saw bitcoin the sort of introduction of digital gold uh, and of course this was pretty interesting to see how uh, you know, a lot of these different aspects have managed to uh, shape themselves out. Um, and I also want to give some attention right here uh, I mean, to, uh, you know, this fundamentals. Uh, so I'm actually going to let this video play right here. And, um, you know, we're going to be talking about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to mute them. Before yeah. we go, Bitcoin yeah. was under 8,000, out 8,000 earlier today. Um, Buy it. Re regardless though of the drop, mm -hmm. if I said to you Bitcoin dropped to 5,000, you'd say buy it. Buy it. Because here's the thing, the daily price of Bitcoin doesn't matter. It's been alive for 10 years. In every year, other than one, 2015, it's made a higher low. The market cap has grown every single year. Every fundamental indicator of Bitcoin, usage, wallets, block size, transaction size, number of transactions, every single one, hash rate, making new highs. All of the indicators of the network and the network value are rising. The price of any asset fluctuates. Let's take Amazon. Amazon has been a public company for. So, I mean, that, that's a smart uh, articulation. I don't think that you could really word it any better than they put it right there. Uh, I mean, these are the you know, NASDAQ, uh, fast money sort of people. I mean, I, I really don't take CNBC too seriously. I, I kind of see it as like a kindergarten, uh, you know, they're just sitting around and talking about this stuff. But hey, uh, they, when they make a good point, they make a good point. And I got to give them credit where credit is due on that front. And I mean, that's just the beginning. I mean, we've been seeing so many interesting things happening in the cryptocurrency space uh, in this past year. And th this is sort of why I keep reminding you all, uh, don't get distracted by the day-to-day -day evaluation of any given crypto. Look at the technology, do your research, and uh, you really can't go wrong if you're smart enough, you're doing your due diligence, and you're coming to the you know most logical conclusion. I think, uh, I mean, any sane person and would come to the same conclusion and put faith in that. I mean, of course, remember, uh, not your financial advisor. You know, I'm not uh, here to give you any sort of advice. I'm merely here to share uh, my perspective and give you the benefit of my perspective. And um, now it's interesting. I mean, we want to talk about this article right here. Uh, Cardano, Shelley, a step backwards, decentralizing entire network, Charles Hoskins. And so, uh, you know, recently Cardano transitioned into its Shelley era with a 
launch of its uh, networking testnet CEO of IOHK, uh, Hodgkinson, uh, elaborated on the same uh, during the last AMA. Hopkinson informed the community that the testnet was receiving remarkable participation as the network currently uh, runs about 100 stake pools in the uh, stake pool uh, channel uh, consists of about 2,400 people. However, tons of issues regarding the same have uh, been recorded. He added Cardano was looking good. Uh, he then stressed on how the entire crypto ecosystem needed to be a more decentralized platform. He put forth two uh, opinions that would help in achieving the same. The first one required projects and uh, to be decentralized. Uh, so, I mean, this is an interesting article. I hope that you guys go and uh, read it. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and rehash. I want to give you my perspective on uh, you know what I expect to see to happen in the long term uh, when we can expect to see uh, you know some interesting uh, developments happening. But I mean, we are at a really interesting uh, historical point. Um, I mean, in the overall cryptocurrency space, I think in the future people will look back on videos that were uploaded on this channel on October 7th 2019 and they'll wish that they had been in this audience they will wish that they were seeing uh, this as a ac accurate uh, portrayal of where crypto is because it's still in its baby stage I mean an $8,000 Bitcoin a market cap of 223 I mean these are some numbers that are going to be ancient numbers in the future that just the same way that we talk about the $100 Bitcoin in the same way that we talk about the under a thousand dollar Bitcoin of the past and all these different things are just the exact same story. Um, I mean, nothing changing. Uh, I mean, the fact of the matter is that uh, these things are moving so quickly uh, that it will be interesting to see how uh, you know the establishment manages to keep up. And I'd say, in its own way, it already has accounted for a lot of the different variables that we're seeing, uh, you know, really coming into fruition. And um, you know, so we'll be seeing some very interesting interesting things uh, I would say uh, in this next year I think 2020 is going to be a very determining year for a lot of these different aspects and um, you know, which brings me to this article uh, you know uh, 2020 will be the year uh, proof of stake blockchains finally break out maybe um, you know, two of the industry's most hotly anticipated POS networks are scheduled to relaunch on quarter one namely ethereum and cardano uh, the second largest blockchain platform in the world by market capitalization ethereum has been uh, looking to shift to POS since 2014. Uh, Co-founder, uh, you know, of course, POS as key Ethereum recently maturity. Uh, so we'll be seeing uh, that, of course, coming into fruition. I think um, I mean, we are seeing the writing on the wall uh, in a large sense. I mean, um, this is including and not limited to um, you know, New Balance to use Cardano technology to fight counterfeits. Uh, I mean, it'll be pretty exciting to see how uh, blockchain is integrated uh, into the real world and um, I mean for people who are unbelievers of uh, Bitcoin it's just the same as the internet when the internet was new there were people who said oh that internet that'll never do and then of course what eventually happened is well look at them they're spending 99% of their lives doing something in service or uh, you know with the in, in, using the internet and every single day uh, and it's going to be the exact same story uh, tenfold with blockchain technology and the Internet of Things and all these different aspects of, uh, you know, how we can expect to see the paradigm shift uh, working itself out. Uh, and, of course, a lot of the different um, intricacies. Uh, you know, So um, you know, I, I think that we will be, uh, you know, seeing some pretty interesting developments in 2020. Uh, I'm excited to see where Shelley, uh, you know, and, of course, uh, you know, Hodgkinson takes, uh, you know, Cardano and, and, you know, so the Chelly testnet was uh, released a few days ago, allowing users to test the Cardano network behaviors in real-world environment. Uh, as Hodgkinson explained, it is possible to decentralize a crypto project immediately after releasing it or create a sandbox that gradually decentralizes the whole network. Um, with Shelly, Cardano decided to follow the latter because they considered uh, makes more sense. Uh, I'm inclined to agree with such a statement. Um, so, yeah, overall, I think that it'll be interesting to see how Cardano is uh, a player on you know bringing together the global economy and all these different things. So. 
I mean, yeah, all that further ado, I think I made some pretty good points reiterated on previous ones as well. And, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing your comments and uh, you know, we'll continue to keep you guys updated. Remember to subscribe and comment down below. Thumbs up. Yep. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.